Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use user-defined subs with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So I have created this simple uh, project, Visual Basic Windows Form application project, and I have taken a button and I have changed the text of this button as execute sub. So make a project and just take a button here, and if you want, you can change the text of this button. And now I will double click this button and I reach to the button click event of this button. And if you notice that this button click is also a kind of a sub. So what is a sub? A sub is a code or piece of code which executes when you call it from some other function or other sub or from some class. So let me show you how to create a sub first. So you can create sub in between from the starting of the class to the end of the class but not in between some other sub. So just if you want to create a sub just, just uh, we will go below our previous sub which is button click and I will write private sub and you give the name to your sub so I give the name to my sub as add and you give these bracket and when you press enter it will automatically create the end of the sub okay so for example I will create two integer variables so I will write dim a as integer okay and in the same way I will just copy this and paste it here once again and this second will be integer b and I will just paste it once again and I will name it as the integer sum for example okay and what I want to do is I want to show this sum in the form of a message so I will write message box dot show and in the message box I write here the addition so the I will write sum is equal to a plus b and I will just copy this sum and I will say the sum of two number is and I'll give this and sign and I will write sum okay so now I want this piece of code to be executed when I click this button so what I need to do is I just need to call this sub from my button click event so once again I go to this button double click it and I just call this function or sub I say add and this add is same name as this add now when I run the program and when I click this button it says sum of two number is zero because we haven't initialized our integers okay so I will give some value to the integer for example some value and to the second integer also I will give a value and now when I run the program 
you see it will give the sum of these values and you also observe that you haven't written any code for the addition of these numbers you have just called this sub function from here and it will execute the whole code which is there in the sub now why and when you use sub when you have or when you want to execute the same code again and again in your program then you use subs so when you use a same code or you, when you want to use same kind of code again and again more than once in your program then you use sub so that you you just need to create this function or sub once and you can call it with this one line of code this whole code you don't need to write again and again this one line will execute all the code so that's why we use subs now one more thing with sub is you can pass parameters with sub so what i mean by parameters so we have created this sub and now sometimes we want that this value should be defined by the user and this should not be fixed so how can i do this the way we can do this is for example i will take two text boxes text box 1 and text box 2 and in this sub function i will pass two parameters or two arguments so in this brackets or parenthesis you write by well and then you write the name of your value so for example i write a as integer and i will pass second argument by well also and b as integer so you notice that i have written by well declaration here by well means by value so we are passing these argument by value and now we are not going to use this predefined integer we just delete it and we will pass this with the help of this these parameters so we have already called this uh, function of sub here and we just need to pass these arguments so how we pass these arguments we pass this argument with the help of these text boxes so the name of the text box is text box 1 so i will just pass this text box 1 dot text as a first argument and you notice it's taking two arguments so and the second argument would be text box 2 which is my name of the text box 2 okay so i have passed these two arguments whatever i have i will write in the text box 1 and whatever i will write in the text box 2 this function add will take these two uh, numbers and then it will perform the addition like this and give the result and show us the message so now let's try and run the program and i will write for example 34 here and 45 here and i say execute sub and i will click this button 
and it gives me the sum of these two numbers. So our sub become flexible in the way that we can pass the parameters, user defined parameters from these text boxes. So I think you have understood the basic concept of sub. One more thing I want to uh, tell you is we have used this private with our sub. You can also use the public function with or public method with the, this sub and what this public and private tells uh, the code is or tells this uh, form is that if you declare this sub as a public then you can use the sub add function to the other visual basic form class but if this uh, sub which is created by you is private then you cannot use it in other visual basic classes so this private and public you need to choose carefully whenever you define your subs. So I hope you have understood the basic concept of subs. In the next video I will show you how to use functions and how functions are different from subs. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.